Hey everyone, uh, Carmen here, digital editor at Ms. I'm with a group of powerful farm worker women and they have a message for you. And so these women are with Daris Campesinas, um, and I've got a few questions for some of them. Um, you know, I'm really curious uh, if anyone wants to speak to sort of, we're here at the National Sexual Assault Conference. Um, what are some of the challenges that farm worker women face, and what are some of the ways that you've been organizing for, you know, justice and accountability and really just changing the face of, you know, your experiences? Hi, my name is Elvira, and um, a lot of the challenges that we do have is that uh, a lot of farm workers do not report um, what issues they're having at work. It could be sexual assault, it could be um, wages, um, pesticide, but they don't report that because some of them, they're afraid to lose their jobs. Um, most of these women are single parents, and um, they're afraid to lose their jobs, or if they don't have any documentation. So it depending, but there is a lot of fear. And what we do, we go out there, we advocate for them, give us as much as information we can to let them know that, hey, we're here to support you and whatever we, we can do to, to help them out, you know. So, but um, yeah, those are the, some of the challenges. Awesome. And sort of since the explosion of the Me Too movement, um, have you seen any changes happening? Um, you know, on the ground for women farm workers? Like, are there, uh, are there signs of optimism? Is there progress being made? Hi, it's Laragel Tirajero over here. I'm from Monterey County. Yes, more women has came up to speak out more, so they're not really scared anymore. They know they have support from all of us and many more women that are supporting them. So we have more cases coming up. They're, they know we're here to support them all the way. And, um, and yeah, I'm also curious as to how the folks watching at home um, can support women farm workers in the work that they do and how the advocates and the activists here who do prevention work, who do resource provision work, um, you know, how can we just make sure that women farm workers are not left out of the conversations that we're having right now across the country and around the world about sexual harassment and sexual assault? Um, giving, supporting us, donating to the organization. We have a website, it's uh, Lideres Campesinas. Um, we also have art, we do art exhibit, um, of bananas to prevent sexual assault. And uh, we do round tables uh, and we um, work with the community, the farm workers, and we just give um, the, the word. And we go do presentations as well. And we're all over California. We have 11 chapters around, Cal around California. We're in Sonoma Valley. We're in uh, Merced, Madera. We're, in, we're uh, focusing in Fresno here in Coachella, Ventura, Kern, Kern Sur, uh, Santa Maria, Greenfield, Salinas, and so many more that we're trying to work together. Cute on Fresno. Because so that's the reason we need the donations. We need them to help us out. And, and so these women could c come to these educational events. And we need for you to believe that Farm worker women, not, I mean, we could be survivors, but we are organizers and we can make a difference. Si se puede! Si se puede! Si se puede! Hey, thank you all so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.